It's important to not let the sun hamper your fun. So tonight, Atia Collins is on your side and she's in the sand tonight too. And you have some good information on how to stay hydrated in addition to just drink plenty of water. You've got some advice. Yeah, Jeannie, I spent this morning here at the beach, a great way to spend the 4th of July. And a lot of people here are doing the same thing. I mean, hundreds of canopies here at the beach. You won't really find a spot on the sand. And everybody I talked to had heat at the top of their mind. They were looking for ways to stay cool. And one of the top ways to do that, Jeannie, bringing some water. These bikers pedaling down First Street in Jacksonville Beach know that the heat can be dangerous. We have lots of sunscreen. We have lots of water because we want to stay hydrated because it's super hot. We have a couple nurses here to make sure we stay safe. And we're going to celebrate America in the best way possible. Staying safe in the heat is top of mind for the hundreds of people laying out on the sand. I knew it was going to be super sunny, so I made sure I brought out my umbrella. Um, definitely coating up with at least 50 S F uh, excuse me, SPF sunscreen. The CDC recommends hydrating with fluids like water, sports drinks, or electrolyte-based oh, drinks. Yeah. You should avoid energy drinks, alcohol, and caffeine. If you are drinking alcohol, remember it does have a dehydrating effect. So here's a good rule of thumb. Drink one bottle of water with every can of beer or cocktail. And a lot of the bars here at Jack's Beach do have free hydration stations for customers. And a reminder, if you are coming here to the sand, alcohol is not permitted on the beach. Reporting in Jack's Beach, Tia Collins, First Coast News, on your side. Tia, good. That's